Well, welcome back to week two and session two of these home groups in this month. We're calling this Seeds for Sharing. Three gospel conversation seeds that you can scatter into your conversations that we pray might bear fruit over time. Uh, last week, our sentence that made sense was uh, having Jesus in my life makes a difference because... I wonder as you chewed those things over and discussed them last week, was your heart stirred? Or was your heart encouraged? Was, the, was that fire stoked? Uh, Jesus says in Luke 6, for the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. And so these few weeks we are stirring our hearts, encouraging ourselves and each other and equipping our mouths with something to say. See to scatter into our conversations. Here's the uh, sentence to complete. The thing that I love about our church is dot dot dot. The thing that I love about our church is. Now why do I think this is such a, a powerful seed to scatter at this precise moment in time? Well across our nation there is a trend going on and the trend is that people, particularly in their 20s and 30s, are finding Sunday services to be their first port of call to find out about faith. Uh, they are coming in off the street to a church service as their first church visit. Uh, not straight to a course, not to a bridge building event, but to a Sunday service. Uh, I'm hearing this go on uh, across other organisations, other evangelists around our country, that they say these are the people are just coming. Perhaps they've uh, been brought up in church as a kid, and that's been left dormant for years, if not decades. And something, and you and I know that that's probably a someone. Something is stirring within them, prompting them to rediscover this part of their faith life. Interesting, isn't it? And so actually to be able to say to people, uh, the thing I love about our church is dot, dot, dot. At this moment in time is, is quite an interesting thing. And especially when it's followed up with an invite to a Sunday service. Uh, uh, people, uh, as one of my friends put it, are looking for a fully caffeinated Christianity. Uh, don't give me a five minute talk in a random uh, event. Just give me the fully caffeinated thing. I want a, I want to hear a sermon that I don't fully understand, but that's that's OK. And I heard about Jesus and I'm seeing people live in community who genuinely seem to like each other. I'm seeing diverse people united somehow by what? Well, it seems to be by a love. And again, you and I know that, that is the love of Christ. Uh, Sundays are a weekly evangelistic event. There is social and there is Jesus presented. And I want my non-Christian mates to come and meet you, my normal Christian friends. I want people to hear Jesus spoken about from the Bible. Those things happen on a weekly basis on a Sunday. So what a wonderful opportunity. There was a, a, a survey done recently, a national survey across the, the whole of the UK um, called Talking Jesus. It was done with the same kind of depth and robustness that all government surveys are done. And it's called Talking Jesus, finding out a little bit about uh, what non-Christians think of the church and of Christians and how they are coming to find out about faith themselves. Listen to this. Over a third of all non-Christians in the survey said that their first place to find out about the Christian faith would be the local church. Uh, the adjectives used in the survey by those who responded to describe the church by non-Christians included adjectives like caring, and friendly, and encouraging, and generous. There is, there is a largely positive view of the church. 20% of people 
surveyed who were already Christians said that they became a Christian because of an invite to a Sunday service. Not a wedding or a funeral church service, but a Sunday service. Now, look, we want people to come into relationship with the person of Jesus. We don't want people just to become church attenders. But where will they hear about the person called Jesus? Where will they encounter his body, see his family loving in action? One of those places could be a Sunday. The thing I love about our church is dot, dot, dot. I wonder what you might think of. Uh, perhaps it's something to do with it being a welcoming place uh, where things are made understandable and relatable. Perhaps you think of that whole thing of that there is diversity but unity. There is uh, ethnic diversity and social class work diversity and, and, and people who have a lot in the bank account are sat next to people who have almost nothing in the bank account and all are equal in this place. I wonder if you think about how the church supports the local community or supports wider world missions. I wonder if you just love the singing. I wonder if you love the, the hospitality that goes on in people's homes. I wonder if you found it a place of, uh, of solitude and family over the years. I wonder if the church has been there for you when a certain thing happened in your life. The thing I love about our church is dot, dot, dot. I wonder how you will finish that sentence. Thank you.